What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my main account and I went ahead and purchased $100 worth of gems today and the reason why is for these April gifts. Man, when they hand these gifts out, it's like hard to hold myself back. It's like, should I get it? Should I not get it? But this time around, they actually give you two lost battlefield cards. So I was like, wow. I was like, Okay, I mean, I have to purchase the $50 for the two Lost Battlefield cards. And then on top of that, if you purchase another 50 it's like, oh, well, here's seven level seven talent runes and a fine crest set pack level four. And fine crest set pack means it's got to at least be like, you know, I mean, something above ordinary. So either a rare or a legendary crest set, which last time I got freaking revitalized. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and snatch that. So with just the bonuses alone, not only do you get the gems, you get... 6,000 fame worth of level 7 talent runes. You also get a fine crescent pack level 3 and 4 and then the two lost battlefield cards which I need and on top of that today is point arcade and smash and win. So I'm going to go ahead and snatch up my uh, first Anubis from smash and win as well. So it's like okay if I buy today I get an Anubis. I get all these other goodies. Hopefully I get Anubis one time. That would be the goal. Let's see here. Should we open up the crest set packs? No, let's open up. Uh, yeah, let's open up the crest set packs. Why not? Let's open up the crest set pack level three first. Come on. Give me a Psy Shield. A Zerk? Yeah, I don't really need a level three Zerk crest set, but at least it doesn't take up another warehouse space because I already have a couple of them there. And for the level four crest set pack, come on, baby. Show me Revitalize one time. Definitely not another life drain. I want to see Revite or... War God actually wouldn't be bad either. War God or Revite is what I want to see. Come on. One time, baby. Give me that Revite. No. Oh, that is so ugly. Self-destruct. Get out of here with the pain right there, IGG. That was a brutal move, man. A brutal move. What else do we have? A Mystery Crest Bag Level 3. It better give me a Psy Shield now. Ooh, Tenacity. That was painful right there, opening that freaking self-destruct. I'm going to save it, though. I was thinking about opening it up and forging all the crests, but you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and save it just in case self-destruct ever comes in handy. So I'm just going to leave that as a crest set right there. All right, let's see. Let's go in and do these events. Here comes the goods, baby. What do we got from Point Arcade? I don't even know what all you can get over here on iOS from Point Arcade. It's been a long time since I've done it. Let's see. What do we got here? We got... It looks like a bunch of soul stones with some heroes as well. I see a Medusa. We got Revenant, Arctic of Valentina. And it looks like you can get Michael's soul stones. But I don't see anything that I need. Like not even one thing I could land on that I could use though. I don't have, I mean there's no Anubis soul stones. That's the only hero I need. I guess like talent cards, gems, and shards. Let's see what they have in the prize hub. What do they got here? Just three things? No level five talent chest or anything? Oh, that's super lame. All right, so I could get a bunch of talent refresh cards for 800 apiece, or I could get Snowzilla cards for 300. What is that? 300 times 16,000? How many is that? That's like... So every 3,000 is 10, so... That's like 60 Snowzilla cards. If I sell the Snowzilla cards for 200 shards apiece, that's 12,000 shards. Right? Yeah, I think it is. I'm just going to exchange for Snowzillas. Huh. Uh, yes. I'll take some Snowzillas, please. Thank you. This is kind of crazy. 300 points. Snowzilla card. Snowzilla card. Snowzilla card. Yes, thank you. This is pretty sweet, I guess. Instead of risking for a bunch of stuff that I don't need, I will just abuse the fact that Snowzilla cards only 300 required points, which guarantees me 200 shards per cell, which is like, well, that's kind of actually a sweet deal. Uh, that's crazy. Hmm, not bad. I'll take these rewards. I could even consume all these Snowzilla cards, just get them to like, you know what I mean, three or four stars, and then consume them on Snowzilla's. Then I could boost the Snowzilla up to 10 to 10 right quick, I guess. Or at least to 8 or 9 to 10. Man, this is a lot of Snowzillas. I'm probably just going to end up selling them for uh, the shards. I mean, that'd be the smartest move. I definitely don't need this many Snowzilla cards. I can't believe they allow you to buy this many Snowzillas. It'd almost be worth buying a hunt. If today was like a bazaar and they had the point arcade on a bazaar, I'd probably think about buying another one just to get the extra 
freaking 15,000 shards nearly. That's crazy. What an exchange. Snowzilla, 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 Snowzilla. It's like, hook it up. What'd you get from the Point Arcade? I got 53 Snowzillas. <laughs> like, what? That's <laughs> ridiculous. How many snows up? I got so 43 total unless there's still more to come. That's pretty dope. 43 snowzillas straight chilling. Let me see. Is that how many it was? Let's see. How many snowzillas do I already got? I have 18, so after collecting all these. <laughs> That's sweet, man. What'd you get from the point arcade? Snowzilla. 40 of them? <laughs> like, what? You got 40 snowzillas from the point arcade? Maybe I should make that like the topic of this video. People will be like, wait, what? He got 40 Snowzilla? Oh, wait, that's even more. A bunch more just got added. So I had 18 total. Man, how many Snowzillas was that? Was it 50 something like I was thinking? I don't know my math. I guess my math's okay, but actually my math sucks, I guess. All right, let's see. How many Snowzillas do we have here? 73 and we had 18. Yeah, that was 55 total Snowzillas. That's crazy. So that is... Almost 15,000 shards. Yeah, that was definitely the way. Why was he so cheap in the Point Arcade? That was crazy. All right, let's go into Smash and Win. That was nuts. Huh, 53 Snowzillas. All right, 12 Smashes for Anubis. Guaranteed. Come on, Anubis, where you at? Oh, that was a crazy first draw. Too bad I don't need Artica. I would have taken a Demo Gorgon just to have a second one. I know there's a lot of people watching this video can be like, Dang, gum, JT. I wish I had that Artica on my account. And honestly, I wish you did too. I would gladly give it to you if I could trade it to you. 100 merits, 1,000 honor badges. Come on, Anubis. Where you at, sir? Now they're like, you know what? We gave him Artica. We're going to stiff him. We're definitely not giving him Anubis on this session. Four smashes left. Come on. Three left. Come on, Anubis. Where you at? Honor badges and shards and more honor badges and shards. Well, that sucked, but the first Artica on the first draw was pretty sweet. I can't believe I got that many... Uh, Oh, wait, did I get... There's another Snowzilla. So, 56 total Snowzillas, I guess. The <laughs> little guy was straggling behind. Is there anything else to open or show you guys on my account? I don't think... Well, I need to use some talent runes. Let's see what, what, what hero can I use some of these talent runes on. Actually, you know what? I could use them on Heartbreaker because we got the boss coming soon. 94% right now on the donation quest. Let's see. What hero do I have? where I could up the talents. Yeah, Spirit Mage, but I don't really see myself using Spirit Mage that much. Yeah, I'm going to use him to help me out in the next dungeons and the, um, what is it, the Elite Six Dungeons or uh, Insane Six Dungeons. I will definitely be using Spirit Mage, but honestly, I don't think like an 8 of 8 talent isn't going to help me anyway. I just need a bunch of Spirit Mage procs really fast, so... I could up my Druid. I mean, he's definitely a possibility. That helped me for Archdemon. Let's see, what else could I get higher on my account? I could up Santa Boom, but I don't really use Santa Boom at all. Pixie either. Siren's an option too, but I'm not sure if a Deadly Strike Siren's good or if a War God Siren's better. I don't really know the difference in the two for the Here Be Demon boss, so I guess Siren's an option if Deadly Strike's the best choice for Siren. Uh, Harpy Queen, yeah, that's not an option. Oh no, I could honestly up my Ghoulam as well. Although I was honestly thinking about changing my Ghoulam from Bulwark to Stone Skin and then getting him to 8 of 8, which I still might do because it's only 3,000 fame for a level 6 talent. Plus you can just buy 3,000 fame on almost a daily basis at this point in time in Castle Clash. I need to get my Valentina a different talent just because I'm not running Arena that much. Let's see, could Grimfane, I could get him to 8 of 8, but not really rushed to do that either. A little Nick, that's where I put that Wandering War God, if you guys were wondering, instead of my Demo Gorgon, because it's just, I like, man, I like having that uh, revitalize on my Demo. I should probably upgrade Heartbreaker, I'm thinking. I mean, just for the simple fact that I, I don't know, man. I probably need to up this pumpkin duke there's just so many times i just don't know because i don't really know like what's coming next for castle clash that's kind of where i'm at i'm like should i up this hero and then at the same time i'm like no nah, i shouldn't waste the resources i should just wait until evolution 3 comes out or something better to where i can use all these resources on that instead of just like wasting them on something that might not be useful in the near future you know what i mean 
Because I was honestly thinking about devoing this and getting this Cupid to 8 of 8 just for Archdemon. And then I was like, nah, I was like, Ugh. obviously it'd be the best choice, but I just don't want to do it. The same with this Beast Hammer as well. It's like, nah, I should get him up. But then it's like, nah, I don't really want to waste the resources. So I'm not sure where I'm going to go. And I honestly thought of a pretty sweet Lost Battlefield strat. I was like, you know what? Atlanta Core's like never used. And I remember like last year I used them all the time in Lost Battlefield. And now with Artifacts 2, what I was thinking about doing was double Evo in my Atlanta Core. Throwing a Psy Shield level 3 set on him. And then putting him in Lightning Rock. And putting him on a Lil Nick team. And the reason why you, you have to put him on a Lil Nick team, maybe a Dread Drake and Lil Nick team, is so the Lil Nick procs right at the start, and then your Atlanta core is like super fast and can run over there and just proc and then get his shield up, and then it's like a win. You know what I mean? I don't know. It might be a decent strategy, honestly. I don't ever see it used, but ain't a bad idea. I need to Devo my Michael. I mean, yeah, Evo and Devo my Michael as well. I don't know why I haven't done that. I guess I'll go ahead. <laughs> Wait, do I have enough room? Oh, I don't think I have enough room for to hold the books. Oh, yeah, I do have enough room to hold the books. Yeah, I'll go ahead and Evo him soon. I'll do that on video. I'll Evo him and then Devo him pretty soon. All right, guys. Well, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, probably the first time anybody's ever gotten 55 Snowzillas on one, uh, one session. Peace out.